I played the Pixel Remaster. I played all six. If you want to see the reviews for those, I'll leave uh, that at the end of the video in the little playlist thing. Go watch them. I know I'm a little long-witted sometimes. I wrote down some notes. I wanted to rank them from best to worst or from like one to six. Which one that would I play again? Which one I didn't really care for? And one of them is actually most people's most beloved Final Fantasy. I could not get into it. Let's get started. So here's my notes. Final Fantasy one. I, I really like this story. It's a story that you, I mean, you obviously can't connect to it, but you can at least enjoy the story. Now, the four elements that are in the first story kind of run their way through all of them in some capacity. I think they're even in uh, six, uh, so you have to save the elements. I really like the fact that you only have four characters. That is such an amazing feature. I do not like when you got like 32 or 400 or whatever characters that you gotta figure out which ones to use. The story has absolutely no bloat in that and it's largely probably because of the system it was on, they really couldn't do it. But man, it's so it's so refreshing to pay, play a game that doesn't have like 30 side quests that mean absolutely nothing, like fetch quests. Squ uh, skills auto level, which I really like. Uh, a strange magic system. I, I really didn't, I, you know, it was all right. Great music. Now, I'm not, I'm only going to say that for the first one because all six of them have absolutely great music. I'm going to go into Final Fantasy 2. Simple, great story. Um, I did like the fact that it was keyword driven. I, that was, that was unique. I, I, they didn't use that in any other the Final Fantasies that I have played so far. Uh, the, and I, like the Final Fantasy 1, it has no uh, story bloat, which is absolutely good. Confusing leveling system, though. I really did not, I, I did not like the leveling system. Magic wasn't uh, great, uh, and you have to level up your equipment from what I remember, and I really didn't care for that either. Final Fantasy III, great story. I like the ability to travel with the, the ship right off the bat. Uh, map, you know, get across the map easily. A couple of different maps that you get to, to explore. Uh, fi final boss was definitely rough, I remember that. Magic, <clears throat> similar to Final Fantasy 1. Pacing in this one was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I remember not wanting to even put this game down. Speaking of putting down, I've never played any of these on handheld, so I don't know if they were good on handheld because I played it on, on the Switch. The job system, um, I think that was introduced for the first time ever. It's, it, it is what it is. Uh, I do like, it seems like when you have a job system, you at least keep the same four characters, which is so amazing. I love that. I love that. Uh, game was a little too long, though, I remember, at the end. I feel like that last tower was exaggerated, maybe a little bit too much, and needed to die. Final Fantasy IV. It did have a great battle system. Uh, best magic system, by far, bar none, that I have played so far in the Final Fantasy series. Um, now, I'm just talking one through four when I say that. No job system. Uh, characters come in as needed. That so If you're going to run multiple characters in a game, have them come in when you need them. Have them come in when you need them. Don't make me try to figure out which... Like, a character is like, they come in and you've got to figure out which one's going to be for the final boss. Don't make me do that. I don't want to do that. And the final note that I have about Final Four, uh, Fantasy IV... The story was goodish, but somewhat hard to care about and hard to follow. I, I remember this game of, of all of them so far anyway. I really struggled to come back to. I didn't even want to play it. Final Fantasy V. Three and five are somewhat comparable. Uh, they felt very similar for whatever reason. I, I don't know why. I just They had like a vibe. The same four elements. The boss, the final boss in Final Fantasy V. What the hell were they thinking? No wonder they didn't bring it over to us dumb Americans. We couldn't, you know, the West. That boss was incredibly hard. Uh, same four characters, like, um, you know, like I like. The job system in this one was too much. I'm sorry. It was just too much. I, I don't know why. I, I, I like I like that they give this to people. I really wish that the fact that they gave it to people that could also, like, people who don't want it don't actually have to. Uh, I, I just, yeah, no. Great story, very enjoyable, but uh, you know, it was somewhat generic, but it was a really good story overall. The combat was easy uh, from what I remember until you get to the final boss and then it's like, what the, 
the most intense spike, uh, you know, it was it was crazy. Final one, obviously, because it's Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VI. This is the greatest story I've ever played in the Final Fantasy, and I'm talking all Final Fantasies that I've ever played so far. It was it was amazing. Actually, this is one of the best stories I've ever played in any video game. It might be one of the best video games I've ever played in the Japanese role playing world a lot of characters but it was handled very well like i I've, I've mentioned a couple times in this video i don't really like a lot of characters but this one was handled in a way where you really didn't have always access to, to everybody so it was it was handled well it really was the magicite really like that i really like that so much that you can just kind of trade it off once it's fully level up you got that little star next to it you can hand it off to somebody else and they can level it up too. I, I really like that. That was that was that was by far, by and far the best that I've seen in the game. The robust magic system that they have in this game is absolutely phenomenal. I like the way that you have abilities now. Did you have abilities in some of the other? I don't know. You, I think you did. But the abilities seemed like more substantial in this game uh, than, than in previous games. They seemed more substantial. The fi final boss was not that awful. I think it took me three tries. This game, along with a couple of the other games, I could not stop playing this game. Now, I was surprised. This was like a 32 or 33 hour game for me, which I was I was a little surprised it took me that long to uh, be. Like the fact that you level up quick in this game. So that was a godsend, really. That was really, uh, now that's because of the pixel remaster, obviously the four time experience points, obviously, but that's the only way I would ever play these games. All right, so to rank them, <clears throat> the first one, uh, you know, I'm gonna rank them from worst to best. My, by far, the worst one, by far, is four. I hated that game. I don't know why people like that game so much. I don't understand it. Two was a very close second. Five, I liked it. I would probably play it again. Whereas four and two, I never want to play again, ever, ever again. Three was really good. Um, it had some of its flaws. One was so good. One is so good. It's so good. And it's so quick. I think I beat it in like 18 hours, 15 to 18 hours. That's, that's one of those games that I almost could play on a yearly basis. And that leaves number six. Number six is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Now, would I play it every year? Probably not, but who knows? We'll see going forward. That game, if if you can, if you only have time for one Final Fantasy, because they're not really, they don't really carry a story or anything like that. They don't connect to the uh, to the last one. You'll see certain elements like Sid, for example, and the airships, and you know different things and job systems that that will that you know that kind of carries over to different to, to different games but if you can only play one of these six is by far the one that i would recommend 100 percent. now to get the most out of it you might want to um check a guide for once in a while because there's stuff that you're going to probably miss especially if you're not a final fantasy you know lore person or whatever but wow so i'm glad i did it i, I played all six I'm glad I bought it. It was like a birthday present to myself last August, and I'm glad I did it. So anyway, hopefully you liked it. Which which is your favorite? Uh, leave that down in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, like always, and I will talk to you in the next one.